No matter, you just close the gate and the difference is maintained. Of course, the water pressure does provide a massive force, so you need to think of that when designing your lock. With the door straight across, an incredible amount of force is applied, potentially buckling gates that are not strong enough. If you place the gates at an angle, however, the force applied by the water is directed along the length of the gate into the walls of the lock instead. The water pressure actually helps to seal the gates and stop them from leaking. So, we now have a situation where there are two water levels, separated by a gate. It's time to get a ship in. Maybe it comes straight in from sea level and then ties up inside the lock. Once in, you can close the gate behind it, separating the lock from the sea. Now, we have three different levels the sea, the lock, and the internal water. The aim is to just make the lock level match the internal water level. So, quite simply, you just make a hole between the lock and the internal water and the levels will stabilise. Remember, there's way too much force to crack the gates open, so instead, we have sluices. A sluice is just a vertical door that can be lifted up to control the flow of water. Sometimes, sluices are built into lock gates, but often you'll find them bypassing the gates and just running around the side instead. It doesn't matter where they are, but the key is that opening up the sluices allows water to flow from the internal water to the lock.